Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. Your ninja Muhammad did an updated video. We have another uh, update build uh, released on Play Store, either SX2 Early Access. Uh, what is new, guys? Uh, really amazing. Tanrath, uh, great job, guys. Uh, for him, we have to clap, clap. Uh, anyway, so what do we have? What's new? Disable bundle splitting for languages, allows any language selection post install, fix possible crash in Vulkan uh, when texture preloading is on and large textures are used, correct uh, rounding mode for float uh, ENT conversion, fixes water elevators in FFX, fix incorrect view, uh, VUO status flags, add console accurate FPU, add sub in uh, instructions, fixes location text in P4, add option for using bra break gas access needed for L2, R2 on some devices and add translations. Add translation really cool man really cool uh, by the way I think he had already two two updates or if I'm not wrong this is from December 11th 7 alpha 702 update 702 Okay, so let's begin guys. One of the games which Tyler have said in updates that they fixed the bully, but I'm not sure they say implement full FPU mode needed for NFS Carbon, Bully and other games with this Alpha 702. But on guys on the Discord, uh, on the Discord update uh, channel, uh, there are more additional news which you don't have on the Play Store. So I'm not sure if this is right now a different build which Tyler has shared yesterday. I'm not sure, but it is called uh, 10984 Alpha 702 build guys. I don't know, we'll see. Now Nevertheless, here we are. We are right now playing Bully, guys, on 3x resolution, which is full HD plus resolution. Uh, so far, what I'm seeing here, it's running amazing, guys. It's running amazing. Uh, and what is very important in comparison to the Damon PS2 Pro, it's fully rendered, shadows on, there is no, at least I'm, I'm not seeing any glitch right now. By the way, remember when you change from Vulkan to open GL, as you're gonna have some uh, glitches, you just restart the game, guys, restart the game. Awesome, awesome here. That is nice, that is very, very beautiful. You can see myself on the top right corner here. Uh, the game is running amazing. Beautiful, man, beautiful, seriously beautiful. Full speed here. What I'm seeing here is the game, it's running full speed. Wow, bro. Uh, anyway, let me just try to use from here a Vulcan, if is it possible. Let me just check it out. So it is. Oh, oh, you see, this is it. Uh, what happened so the glitches appear here if you change just restart the game guys you just enable restart the game and that should be it uh, let's just see if i exit the game run the game again okay so on vulcan it has glitches on vulcan it has glitches okay we are back let me show you again right now the settings graphics vulcan <coughs> Uh, I just restarted the game, guys, on Vulcan. Restarted two times. I don't know why it happens. Sometimes the glitch appears. Sometimes, so it it seems that it's a random glitch here uh, while swapping uh, Vulcan and OpenGL AP. I'm not sure, but the game runs amazing, guys. Very stable, <coughs> very stable, which is insane that it's running on 1080p, uh, basically 3x resolution. Here is the best settings. There you go. Don't use this EE cycle skip. This is maybe just for uh, obviously cheaper phones. Uh, with the powerful phones, guys, it's just gonna give me like frame skipping, etc., etc., which I don't like at all. There we go. Beautiful. And on the end here, we have option enable on the bottom. That's it. And around auto flash software. There you go. That should be it. Anyway, let's go now with the next game. Okay, just now we're gonna test Need for Speed Hot. Uh, sorry for that. Need for Speed Carbon. Uh, what a great game! What a great game! This is one of also one of my favorite uh, Need for Speed games. So we're gonna go immediately test here a classic quick mode. Uh, by the way, guys, this is right now on. All, is it OpenGL? Seems that the OpenGL doesn't work that nice. So uh, sorry for that. But that's Vulcan. Let's go to OpenGL. Still, we have theirs. Okay. Let me just check it out what is happening. Okay, just we are back. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I just restarted the game. Uh, basically, uh, right, right now this is on the Vulcan AP. Uh, this is on 2x resolution 720p. Uh, plus, it's higher than 720p, man. I can just simply say that it's... What the, what the heck? It's 1000 PL, man. No, no, it's almost... Can't say it's 1080p. It's just something between uh, 720p and 1080p resolution, guys. Uh, the game runs here full speed and 2x resolution. I'll be also uh, retesting this uh, same right now stage at uh, 3x resolution just to show you. 
uh, but it looks impressive. Just I have some small mirror uh, mirror ghosting right now issue, which is similar to the GTA, but uh, the fix with the GTA doesn't work with this game, guys. I'm gonna just go right now here to the graphics. I will show you the settings again for this game. Three X resolution, and we're gonna go to load state, and we're gonna load exactly the same here. Say it. Uh, check this out, guys. So this is right now with three X resolution. You can see myself on the top uh, right corner. I might even zoom in. There we go. It has some uh, lags here. Uh, it's not like it's lagless like with the previous 2x resolution, but again, this is a heavy game. Need for Speed, Underground, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, uh, Carbon, all of these games are super, super heavy, guys. Uh, anyway, we're gonna jump. Uh, by the way, probably I'm gonna make a separate video, a longer gameplay. This is just a small test right now for the, with this uh, new update. And uh, there's also a 3x resolution. Great game, man. Well, we still don't have, guys, uh, such a, uh, open world games on Android uh, uh, on Android platform the Google Play Store. Can you believe that, man? 2022, bro. Still, we don't have anything better which we had 20 years ago on a PlayStation 2 console. Can you believe that? That is that is seriously crazy. That is seriously crazy. Almost 20, 18 years or something. That is nuts, man. Wow. Anyway, I'm gonna just lower the resolution down because, of course, we can see that it's lag laggy. I'm gonna put it at 2x resolution and rerun it back. And you can see by right now, it's running full speed. Awesome. Oh, sorry, my bad. How do you change the camera here? Okay, we're not gonna do that. Go back. I'm not sure how you change the camera with this game. Beautiful. Beautiful. By the way, guys, I can't tell you the difference between uh, previous uh, build regarding these games, but uh, Tarantula did add these games in an update section that they uh, are improved and they're playable right now, so I, I can't tell you because previously I didn't test these games on previous builds. Nevertheless, this is super playable on uh, uh, ROG5. I might even uh, test these games on Poco X3 Pro and Poco F3, Snapdragon A60, A70. Oh, where I'm going? <laughs> okay, just now we're gonna move a little bit to different games. I'm here, I am having the uh, black game. Right now, testing without the gamepad. Let me just see. Sky is still black there. You could fix it, I think, with the social rendering. Full speed. What a great game. One of the best games ever, man. Not only on PS2 console, but ever, bro. Making remake of this game would be just stupid, especially for the old generations. Maybe it's gonna be for new ones who never tested this game before, but just played the old version, man, the old school. Awesome, man. Awesome. Let's go with the next uh, game. What else we can test here? We go Metal Gear Solid 3. By the way, I'll put this uh, resolution up since they are running uh, full speed on 1x resolution. This is 2x resolution right now. Check this out. Awesome. Yeah, let's go to 3x. Full speed also. Uh, next game, what else we gonna test here? Need for Speed Underground, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, what else we have here? Let's go to Shadow of Colossus. This is a more heavy game. Remember that, guys? This is right now on 3x resolution. This is still one of the heaviest PS2 games. Super uh, large. With the open world, big map, a lot of details, mountains, grass, sky, elements, just insane man, insane game. So far runs really good. By the way, I, uh, guys, this is on OpenGL. We can jump right now to Vulcan. 
There's a Vulcan right now. Ooh, Vulcan is ooh, Vulcan destroyed here. Vulcan is very bad for us to this game, it seems. So that was a huge drop in this frame rate. We are back now. Anyway, what else we can test here? <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. For the end, Ratchet and Clank, maybe. There you go, Ratchet and Clank. On 3x solution. Full speed, guys. Full speed here. So smooth, bro. Love it. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed in this small short test, guys. Remember that. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna just go again here. What Tahrez said: switch back to audio, uh, audio from OV. Stop audio output on pause. Fix vibrate on touch for D-pad. Fix a crash when activating some overdrives in FFX with the Vulkan render. Uh, fix emitting invalid instructions, NFS carbon possible others. Tiny optimization, uh, tiny optimization to, uh, to to VU flags calculation, guys. And fix OpenGL uh, rendering on Pixel 6 and other newer Mali drivers. And prevent Vulkan renderer being used on Mali devices. Remember that, guys. He's gonna just simply block the Vulkan on a Mali GPU uh, the drivers, uh, Mali GPU driver smartphones. Which is just makes sense because they most of the, I mean, almost everything just doesn't work really good on Mali regarding the Vulkan AP. Uh, anyway, great performance here with the Ratchet and Clank. Fully rendered, full speed, love it. Anyway, this should be it. Thank you for watching this video. The buying links uh, and download links will be in the description. Uh, of course, buying links for these products which I tested, the gamepads, smartphones, uh, suggestion from $200 to $1,000. I suggest you all the list is there. Maybe you have a lot of links, but guys, I try to put everything in one single place so you guys can see by yourself. And also join my Facebook group for the Ether SX2 Facebook Global Group in, uh, group in English. It's the biggest Ether SX2 group on Facebook, man, which is very interesting. We've crossed more than 2,000 members.